Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer, and welcome back to PCM22. It's Classic Puncher. This is episode 38, and it's Perirube. This is going to be a one and done for this episode. I am third on the list of favorites behind a pair of movie star teammates, and that is a real worry as Vanderpool and Van Art are on the same team this season. That is insane. They got Cantor along with them, which. I don't know what his cobble rating is, but that is pretty dang dangerous. Uh, it's going to be really, really hard to beat the pair of those. However, I do have the objective, the fitness peak, the fitness level, all of that uh, is setting us up for another plus five race day condition expected. But that's still going to put me on the back foot against these guys. How much team support can I get? How well can it carry me through? can I beat the pair? Which one will bury themselves for the other, or will they both be there at the end, both looking for the win and not working, not coordinated uh, against me, which would definitely give me a better shot than if one destroys the field to set up the other one. Uh, Van Barl, Asgreen, Kung, all the favorites appear to be here. Uh, that cobble rating, I mean, we're looking at you know, 79 plus for everyone in the top 10 outside of Mohorich. Uh, but then he's got a 81 stamina, he's got a 79 flat. So when you throw in, you know, the difficulty level bonuses, he's going to be really good too. This morning, the Peloton is setting off on a 257 kilometer ride that will take the strongest and the bravest to the mythical Rubey Velodrome. The route is beset with pitfalls, and nearly 30 cobblestone sectors lie along the way, with the first coming in trivial at the 97-kilometer mark, the traditional starter of the day's hostilities. The renowned Trouet d'Arenberg, 2.4 kilometers long, comes after 161 kilometers in the saddle, and already allows a first race hierarchy to be established. It's obviously too far from the finish for the favorites to fully show themselves. But it's a perfect point at which to launch attacking strategies with a luxury team member. Riders are slowly whittled away with each crossing of a cobbled sector. And when we reach 20 kilometers from the finish, there still remain the fearsome Carfeon Pivel and Carrefour de l'Arbre, two of the most difficult sectors that often prove to be decisive, and for which riders must have kept some energy in reserve despite their exertions. Finally, if several contenders for victory still remain, it will have to be decided on a sprint in the Roubaix Velodrome, as is the case since 1943. All right, so four riders have formed the early break. They're out to a three-minute advantage. I am not interested in leading the Peloton. Movistar are the heavy favorites here. This should be their task, and they do have, what, three riders at the front doing the work so there's there's one good thing that could limit their numbers sooner rather than later and let's hope that it does and in the meantime i have total team control that's fantastic i do have my plus five on the expected uh, so that has materialized we'll check in and just how good my ratings are here in a little bit unfortunately connor swift has a minus five negating a lot of you know the strength the overall team expected versus uh, the actual outcome uh, it's a slight negative but it's not bad overall uh, I was not the only one with plus fives for the expected Lavelle had it as well Walls I think had an expected plus three so he's drawn a plus one and then you know a minus seven from the other couple of guys here so, or other few yeah. but overall uh, I don't know all of these riders particularly well as I'm still you know, fairly new with the team. We've got Swift down. Uh, Lavelle looks really good. He's got an 82 rating today, so I do have a man who I expect to be in it late helping set me up. So that that is fantastic. Uh, Colbe, we don't know his ratings, but it looks like he's got a high flat sprint, good acceleration but just okay stamina and cobble rating, so he's not going to be terribly useful. Uh, Walls has a plus four, and you can clearly see that he's a strong sprinter. Very good flat rating. His cobble rating is okay. Stamina, though, is not very good. Uh, the plus four should help, though. George, we know nothing about. 
and then Holgard. Holgard does have a good cobble and flat rating and stamina rating, and so he is the third protected rider, even though Walls has the plus four. Uh, that ultimately will give me, I would think, four guys that will stick around for a while. Five and a half minute gap now to that group of four. And the race is on definitely head to head against Movistar. And I think we can, you know, possibly be in this thing late. But for now, let's get uh, somebody like Swift. We'll get water before we uh, enter the first cobbled sector. 170k to go. We'll need water two more times along the way. This is a long, brutal race. Of course, nicknamed the Hell of the North. First sector, Troy V. Three stars. One down, and you can see Colbe, George, and Swift all feeling it already, and then Colbe crashes. Okay, he looked like he was uh, fine. I thought he was still in contact, but apparently not. As we go through sector number two. Okay, we are going to have to uh, speed up a little bit more. This is one of those races where things happen very quickly and you can get dropped in a very short period of time. Uh, cool Bay, three minutes down. I'm not sure he's going to get back up here. I mean, the field is definitely spread, but... At least the weather's good. That means you should see less crashes. We're seeing a lot of attacks right now. But it's... Uh, let's assume it's... It's not assumed just yet. Laporte, Badut, Alphilippe, Watson all attacking. I mean, classics guys, but not cobbled classics. More like punchy classics kind of guys going on the attack right now. Sector 3. Domestiques taking the brunt of it. Lavelle and I not really even feeling it. Three stars. Got a bit of a easy run here for the next little bit to get back into position, but everybody's already in position except for Colbe. But Colbe is back into the group, and actually he's back up here. So Colbe back to uh, protecting. 151 left in the peloton. And it's now a breakaway of 11 riders with a three minute advantage. Two star for this sector, but we're gonna have a lot of sectors coming up in the next little while. And at 125K to go, after we get through this little group of sectors, we'll need to uh, get water for the second time. Love that little breakthrough there. Three star sector. I think we also need to speed up just a little bit more. It was 79. Or whole guard and walls anyway we're gonna put them up to an 81 so that they hold position Another flat tire. that's two more down three more and one more to get through this little section and then we will send somebody back uh, probably walls to get the water as the uh, domestique guys are definitely feeling it in fact <laughs> Colby puncture. He's going to be out of the group in a second. There you go. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway given that the pack has increased its speed. Okay, Swift. Swift is the back guy. That that's forcing walls back even further because of how far off Swift is, but he's got some time to get back up here. He's got the water. I I think he's trying to go forward anyway right now. Yes, he is. He is trying to go forward. And Swift is definitely moving backwards. Swift was protecting Holgard, so uh, Holgard's going to be on his own soon. And then Walls and Holgard are probably going to match down here in a moment. Uh, George is also starting to fade, but he's still up here. So I think we're going to have to recalculate who's where positionally. as the peloton is starting to shrink quickly. 106 riders now. Front group, we've pulled back half a minute on them and they've lost two riders and we're down to four guys. So let me take the back markers and put them on auto. I think Colby is already 
Yes. So these two are now going to do the protection uh, walls. Protect Lavelle and Lugard. Protect me. And then there were four. You're seeing a little group break off at the front. Make sure it's being chased down, and it is. We're starting the last third of the race. Things are heating up in I'm assuming Van Art and Vanderpool and Van Barl and Moss Gun, Pedersen, a bunch of favorites in that attack group that now has a 44 second advantage. That's another rider with a flat tire. The road is really treacherous. Still chasing them down, but actually it's going out, not coming back. Lunch. Those guys are having to push really hard right now for that. Just gotta really watch that gap. Uh, the front nine are still out there. The two that were dropped have been caught, passed, dropped. We've got 80 chasing them. And 80 provides enough firepower that we don't need to worry about those guys getting off the front just yet. In fact, it could be a very good thing for us if that group uh, disintegrates. And they just dropped a support rider as, oh, it's Van Art too, going backwards. And Vanderpool's been dropped, too. Uh, they come back together, but, yeah, seeing them having struggles right now is really good for our chances uh, down the stretch. But the further behind we are, it's not necessarily a good thing. But those guys being out there essentially on their own is going to drain them pretty quickly. And right now... There's a chase. So as long as there's a chase, I'm not too worried about it. We're only two minutes off the front, and they're not the front. The front is the, the break. Seven riders are the break. So, yeah, those two alone now. Those two are alone in 48 seconds ahead of us. This is great for our chances. Now, Lavelle and uh, myself are now kind of alone as Walls and Hulgard are about to, uh, to get dropped. So put a little more down. Uh, we're starting to get into that deterioration also of your uh, abilities as you know, maximums are, are starting to fall off a little bit. One of the front riders has been dropped and that group behind them is now at 10 and then that rider got dropped from there. So that was a breakaway rider falling off. It is over a minute behind, though, so we are going to have to put our foot down here at, uh, at some stage uh, with Lovell and I and try to go forward. Just watching that chase, making sure that it is still got firepower. Uh, okay, Holgard and Walls are done. Let's now switch this to uh, Lovell keeping me protected. So then there was two. A chase, not an easy thing. It's under a minute. Like I said, it's really good, especially that those two got dropped there for a little while and had to uh, chase and catch up. I want to take a look at kind of what sectors remain. Uh, at some point here, we need to put our foot down. Okay, we are group A1. Okay, so we're on the same sector. It's four stars, it's lengthy. And then we have the big five-star uh, in Pavel. That might be our time to put our foot down. We have another five-star section late, but we can't afford to be too far behind at that point. So, uh, navigate the four-star, see what happens firepower-wise, and then we're going to have to put our foot down in the next sector. Just watching the gap, watch the gap. It's only gone out by a second or two. Three seconds. Yeah, it's okay. There's still a, enough of a chase right now. That we don't need to waste Lavelle just yet. Down to 40 ball. here in the group, by the way. Yep, gap's only changed by three seconds. There's also only eight left in that group. And seven at the front. And they're also about to come together. So as we go to enter this next sector, I want Lavelle 
gonna follow Lavelle, and Lavelle's going to uh, put his foot down. Okay, we're into it. So Lavelle, let's go. And that front group's all together now, and splitting up already. Lavelle hasn't even gotten to the front of this group as Hofstetter, Germain have been chasing, but now we get our foot down at least just a little bit here and close the gap. And we've got to think about the fact that there's two. There's two groups now, so now we're catching guys that were breakaway guys. And Pedersen, Vanderpool. Okay, Vanderpool's been caught, so that's going to rule him out. Hofstetter still putting his foot down. We're down to 30. Now let's continue on here. This is going to catch another. Laporte, Watson. That's a lot of the breakaway guys. Watch out, a team leader is falling behind. He's off a little bit, Lavelle. Hofstetter, Stewart, still putting foot down. Let's uh, ease off for now. Let them do this while we're on the flat. Wait for the cobbles. Three star. Okay, double check where we're at, what's happening. So we are still, we're A2 right here, just behind them. Three star sector, and then a two star sector. I think we need to ease off until we get to here. And then bam, 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 bam. Lots of hard sectors, back to back to back. That's where our race is going to be decided. So Lavelle, let's just kind of hold position a little bit. Ready to go effort up if we need to. There's Mahoric, he's been caught, or he's at the front of the group anyway. Okay, that's one of two. Uh, we need to get a water one last time, but Now's not the time. Let's wait for this group to really, really thin out. And we will get it following Mahorich. There's Van Barl. There's Benoot. And Holler. We are getting so close. Just two riders left off the front. It's Van Art and Wright. Definitely two of the favorites. Uh, oh, one more. Wait, there's one more out there. Okay, this is not the sector we need to worry about just yet. Lavelle is getting tired. 33k to go. 31 chasing three riders left off the front, and it's still a minute. That, that's still a hefty bit to pull back, but those next five sectors are going to be the decisive moment. And look, Wright and Van Art are coming back to us pretty quick, and that's Moss Gun who is out ahead. Uh, but Askey putting foot down, Sheffield, Gourmet, Lampart putting foot down, and it's coming back together and we didn't have to do it all so Lavelle is certainly tired uh, I'm gonna sit up effort up a little bit Lavelle protect and then Lavelle get water bottles oh you have something left you don't have to go back very far come on come on let's go let's go buddy and he's got it he's got it okay uh, we are seeing an acceleration right as we're entering this. So let's follow Lavelle. Let's also use the uh, transcend that's unlocked now. And let's chase those guys down because we should be in that group not uh, getting dropped by it. They attacked just before entering and it, I was waiting to get into it to start putting things down. I was waiting for the water from Lavelle. Twelve chasing seven. One of the says that a and Lavelle is, down. is done. So I'm going to be on my own here. Can he offer me any protection for a little bit here? Yet another flat tire. It's Nobody else is able to push the way I'm pushing right now, so we're going to have to just kind of keep on. I will set up the moment I can. Just eleven, and chasing those front groups. But this is not the front. We see five guys up here, but that's not all of them. Four stars. Okay, foot down. And just about back to it. And now there's just seven chasing, and we're chasing six. And here you go, five star sector. Really put foot down. Let's get up there, let's get up there. 
and now it's 10 chasing 2, and the 2 are just right there. It's Kung and Wright and Asgreen, and it is now together with a front 8. A front 8. Oh, come on. Call that a gap. The finish line is getting close. Your riders have just passed the 15 kilometers road sign. Front 8. There you go. Front 8. With just one sector left. And then the velodrome. So we have done enough to be in it. And we've got a chance in the sprint. I have a 78-84 today. He could go all the way. Hello, Rutsch. These guys are accelerating. Demay is here, so you got a proper sprinter. Lampart is here. Boy, this is... Hello. What, what, what split? What split? Come on now. And nobody wants to... Nobody wants to close the gap. And another attack, Lampart this time. There's that final cobble, cobbled sector as you're about to enter. I'm just trying to casually do this. And it's going to be a front five plus me. Seven K to go. Shelling up now. We cannot go with that attack. We don't have enough left. We gotta hope that this group of five has the firepower. Is that Van Barrel? Sheffield. Sheffield has gone away, and he's got a 27 second advantage. 4K to go, and we are absolutely in for a shot at a top three around us. Turner, not much of a sprinter. Kung, not much of a sprinter. Lampart, we can beat. Asgri. Wow, Asgreen not his normal self either. They have really good flat ratings, but uh, can we get this podium? Come on. What's what's going on here? Why are they leaving me behind when I'm going 95? Hey, hang on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Recover a little bit. 1.6. Okay, we are not winning. That's for sure. That's, that's, that's a done deal. That's gone. Okay, sprinting a little bit later than these guys. Can we come back at them? Can we come back at them? Nope, red bar's gone. We just didn't have enough stamina left. Sheffield, Asgreen, Lampart, Turner, fifth place. Fifth place, and Kuhn gets sixth. Close. So close today. Uh, Lavelle. Lavelle is going to get a top 20, by the way. Maybe. There it is. 16th. Van Art, just 17th. You know, that's the sad thing on, on the ending of that one. Those, those two key guys, I saw that move and I knew that we were the ones. Uh, and that's the thing. The, the way this game is, nobody else will pull things back. You know, in those late race scenarios. There, there's times where you, they will, right? As we are going along, there's a breakaway we had firepower, and ultimately that was the right move because Van Art and Vanderpool, you know, Vanderpool's not even in the top 20. Those guys went at the wrong time, and I knew that. And there was enough firepower in our group to chase it back, and they did chase it back. But then when you get into that late stage, that last 30 kilometers, it was either we chase or no one chases. And so it slowly just drains Lavelle, and then it slowly drains me. So Lavelle barely gets the top 20. I get fifth. Uh, didn't quite have any energy left. Sheffield attacked, and nobody batted it, an eyelash. And so I ended up stuck. <laughs> stuck in that rock, you know, between a rock and a hard place. That happens. That happens all the time. You know, that's a, a very common thing. Now, you know, normal difficulty, your energy's not going to drain as bad. They're not going to all have those bonuses, so they're going to drain as well. So you're going to be able to leave them behind. And, you know, in that final scenario at the end of that, we would have easily been second place. Easily. Uh, 
easy difficulty, of course. Sheffield's never get in the way, and we're chasing that down. Lavelle's still got energy left at the end, and I've got a lead out for the sprint at the end, and we easily win, and Lavelle probably takes second. Uh, you know, but that's what you get when you choose. Choose to make it the hardest, and it is the hardest. And I don't quite yet have, you know, we've got an 81 rating. It's good. Perry Roubaix, you know, you need that 83, 84, or you need teammates with that. And we had one guy. We had one guy that, again, he and I both used up in the end. Close. You know, there and, and there's probably, if we think back on it, there's 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 got to be a way to play that one out differently, better, somehow make it happen. But, again, sitting uh, and waiting for others to do the work just wasn't going to happen, and, and our finish would have been a lot lower than fifth. All right, folks, that is going to do it for this one, though. This this was the monument that I was really hoping to get. Sad that we only managed top five. Uh, and there's just not going to be another shot at it. But the att attribute distribution wasn't quite there yet. And definitely, you know, overall team, one good supporter is nice, but it's not enough by itself. Anyway. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.